elections this year should not be an occasion for division or for fear. Rather, it is a time for all of us to reflect on both the challenges as well as the opportunities of this blessed land of ours and for all of us together to strive for integrity in our leaders but also in ourselves as citizens. Kenyans are known to be a God-fearing people. And yes, we do belong to different religions, different denominations, but we are all bound by our common belief that we all sin, we suffer, and that we can repent and be reborn. We have hurt one another on the basis of nothing more than the languages we grew up speaking, and we have allowed ourselves to be divided by leaders who also lack integrity. So I join all those and urge each and every one of us to embrace peace in your utterances, in your homes, in your workplaces, and to correct those around you who seek conflict and confrontation. Indeed, as president, as well as a citizen, I promise to do my part, to do everything that I can to ensure that peace prevails in our nation. And we need an environment that is predictable and not subject to the whims and winds of politics. Indeed, as is written in Matthew, by their fruits you shall know them. My responsibility is to all Kenyans, even those running against me in August. As I urge each and every one of us to be a peace promoter, let us aim to demonstrate to the whole world on August 8th, 2017, that we as a nation have come of age, that we are a peaceful people, a stable nation, despite being a nation of many tribes and different religious faiths, we know for a fact that we all pray to one God.